Hello and welcome to another Evan Action Commentary. It's a commentary for January 2024. I'm your host, Zach. I'm your co-host, Chris. And uh, yeah, we are starting 2024 off with a doozy. Uh, and we are celebrating the 10th anniversary of I, Frankenstein. That movie, the, the beloved movie everyone loves. <laughs> the movie that um, ironically put the Frankenstein franchise to dead, like to death. <laughs> Yeah, no, Even no one was... tried to make no one tried to make anything Frankenstein related for like until like Guillermo del Toro's working on his new one now. But like yep. <laughs> this, this one was just like, oh yeah, let's let, let's not do Frankenstein for a while. Uh, yeah, it's like it's about resurrection and living with sins, and then this franchise was just like we overestimated what this Frankenstein movie would do. <laughs> well, they, well, they they tried they tried to make it. I they tried to make Frankenstein into Underworld. And it's it's from yes. is is story the story is by Kevin uh, Graveau who created created co created Underworld he he co starred in his Rays um, which made he, sexy vampires like kind of with guns you know like yes that was the huge premise but but this I mean it's it's li- it's like literally the same premise it's it's just like instead of vampires and lichens it's gargoyles and demons. And instead of Kate Beckinsale, you have Aaron Eckhart in a hoodie. You could have done as this is a underworld side story. Well, and I mean, you view it as this is the same universe as Underworld. Not bad, uh, right? But well, apparently, I mean, like, we, 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 if you want to just show the trivia right now, but like, apparently, that wasn't one like the early scripts. Was like it was going to be like a MCU style like post credits cameo from Kate Beckinsale. Like she was like show up as Celine and be like. This is the same universe. Like, I need your help. I need your. I need, Adam Frankenstein. I need your help fighting like vamp like Lincoln's now or something. So initially, this was going to be a like one of the one, underworld. Yeah, like one of, the, one of the early early drafts was like it was gonna like be like totally connected to the underworld universe. Man, that's how you would have done it. That's how you really explain why Frankenstein shows up in underworld. Make the under yeah, make the underworld verse yeah. Yep. But it but you yeah, it's, have seen it. <laughs> but it's yeah, it's its own thing. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, it came out in January twenty fourth, two thousand fourteen. So yeah, it's, it's the tenth anniversary this month, and it's on Max, which is where we're watching it. So if you have a copy of this movie or you're watching it on Max, um, specific, specifically on Max, if you're watching it, we're, we're paused after the HBO presentation logo. And if you're watching it on like DVD or blu-ray or some other form of uh i frankenstein media we're paused right before the lion's gate logo comes up so like for like this like star system for like the lion's gate uh logo comes up we're paused right there so go ahead and get that all straightened out and then i'll give a countdown we'll get started here so five four three two one play You could have been watching John Wick, but instead, <laughs> or I try. What, 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 it's like Langley has like the Hunger Games and John Wick, and that's it. <laughs> like it's like they're two franchises. Saw. Oh yeah, they have Saw. Yep. Yeah. That's what this Psych. needed. This needed a jigsaw. This needed like a jigsaw cameo. Just yeah. like you're in the you're in the jigsaw universe now, Frankenstein. <laughs> like I want to play a game. I want to game Frankenstein back together. Yeah, or I want to play a game of taking you apart. See, there is something to do with like, like an undead and then living with like the life, like a uh, mush life. I Frankenstein. So yeah, so apparently, so so apparently, this is also it's based on a digital only graphic novel that Kevin Gravo uh, created. I mean, it's it it sort of just looks like Hellboy if you think about the premise of this guy <laughs> fighting the underworld. Yeah. So this is more 
based on like this is uh liter yeah like novel yeah novel accurate where Frankenstein had long hair the trench coat like Frankenstein's monster mm. and then like Frankenstein like like dies in the Arctic. So, is Aaron Eckhart trying to do like a British accent in this like opening or? Something like that. This is accurate. Yeah, so this this is basically like I forget to say it's basically a sequel to the novel, like the Mary Shelley novel. <laughs> but like an insane like on like like ridiculous like martial arts sci-fi action like yeah. sequel to the novel. It is accurate to the book. I thought they would play around with the details. They are going for, like, accurate. Nick Fury steps out. <laughs> Russell Crowe. Russell, yeah. Welcome to the dark universe. Vampires! Because, you know, that's a thing here. Oh, it's so realistic. <laughs> Like, they didn't even put, like, a rubber mask on that. Like, it... Make Cali sticks. <laughs> yep. Is that a, like, is staking a demon, like, is that, like, a thing? Because that's, like, a vampire thing, but these are it demons. It's a vampire, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be, like, vampiric things about them, because they've got, like, claws, and... Well, because it's, it's the, it's the centuries-old war between gargoyles and demons. Because <laughs> that's always, like, a popular thing. Yeah. That thing that, that, that you've always, always it's been brought up in fiction. But the gargoyles are like sexy men, <laughs> like <laughs> sexy people. Yeah. You're not Goliath. <laughs> Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. <laughs> Wait, so are these gargoyles that always stay at the Frankenstein cemetery? And then everyone at this, this is family plot, so almost everyone here would yeah. be Frankensteins. Jack Courtney. <laughs> I'll get you, Jack Cordy. <laughs> so this is like this is right after uh, a good day to die hard, or yeah, right, yeah, right after a good day to die hard for uh, for Jack Cordy when he was Jack McClain, John McClane Jr. Wow, you went from lead in that to just like secondary guy here. Yeah, and this is the same year as uh, Divergent.
I got the gargoyles have like symbol jewelry. <laughs> Cause that was also just randomly like in the cemetery too. The symbol that she's wearing on her necklace, like the mm-hmm. triple T thing. What's up? <laughs> Oh, isn't it? Is it? It's Notre Dame. <laughs> yeah, it is. Where's Where's the uh, the Jason Alexander gargoyle <laughs> from, from Watchback Notre Dame? Oh, <laughs> like maybe they were these people, but the Disney version is not. Like, I, what are, what I are the mis- so- yeah, what is what is tur- what are them just like turns into Jason Alexander? It's like, hey, I'm here. Right. It's just Jason Alexander pops up. Yep. So another thing is, it's implied that these gargoyles are descendants of angels. Yeah, they they were created by like the archangel Michael. Because <laughs> they're not born, right? Or they're just sort of like, like, is there kid angels? I don't know what's. <laughs> Well, not they're not angels. They were created by angels, uh, a- de- but they're like gargoyle demon killers. Yeah. I, yeah, I have no idea. Like the what? The war is just gargoyles versus demons, and they're kind of like the holy side. They should they should have just been like 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 Disney's gargoyle gargoyles, like <laughs> <laughs> like actual like creatures. Yeah, yeah. See, I thought it would be actual creatures. It wouldn't be like well, I mean, angelic actually- elves. I guess what I guess what I guess what like, elves. Yeah, they're they're they're. I mean, they're basically like Lord of the Rings elves. Yeah. Like if you if you point if you made her ears pointy, it's an elf princess. Mm-hmm. These are like this looks like Witcher people. In fact, one of them is in the oh, Witcher. Yeah. Yep. I saw him. I was like, he's from the Witcher. Like he's just been yeah. in this for a while. Mm-hmm. Maybe some magic? See, like, that. Apparently that which is laying about that cemetery, yeah. the, like, symbol. Are you are you getting all this Iron Neck art? Because it's very important. <laughs> like they're never gonna explain this again to you. <laughs> Man, he has he has no respect for Kali. <laughs> They named himself Adam. Uh, yeah, she like named him Adam. Oh, he's okay. like, he's, he's just like, all right, I guess. <laughs> cool, new name. Yep. One. It was one. Yeah. <laughs> he killed one, one real human. one. Yeah. Wait, in this, in this universe, is like, is like, there's, is there no Mary Shelley? <laughs> like, is Frankenstein no. never got written? Like, he never got. It's, it's a non-Frankenstein universe. But yeah, because that's because that's I mean, the I whole get, like 
that's the whole conceit of like this novel is that it's like it's like Frankenstein's journal. Oh, like the actual like Fermi mm-hmm. Shelley's like like novel is like a, it's like Frankenstein's it's like diary. journal entry. Yeah, diary. Yeah. yeah. The diary, and then so, so this universe, is, universe is, there's no Mary Shelley, there's no Frankenstein's novel. It's just like, I mean, it's fine because I get why it's also kind of bad because it proves you don't need creation, isn't like God control, so there's no God, yeah. no real God. <laughs> here we go. Yep, here we go, baby. Just cha- just training, tra- train themselves into like in, in martial arts. <laughs> See, the whole movie could have just been this phase, too. You know, I feel like this is a pretty interesting plot in the beginning. Welcome to the pit, bitch. That's 400 years. <laughs> well, no. Two, 200? 200 I, think it's, I, think, yeah, I think it's 200 years. Now, now he's in, like, Blade. <laughs> like, yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like, like a vampire bar, it's like a demon bar. This movie does a lot of explanation and jump shift here, where now it's just like, this movie could have started like this, right? Yeah. But because it's such a crazy idea, and why are gargoyles instead of vampires and stuff? It's just like, they had to explain that whole prologue that was almost a half an hour long. Well, the demon the gargoyle thing is already complicated, and then they throw like Frankenstein's monster in there. <laughs> like, <laughs> It could have just been Demon Gargoyle movie. It'd be, it'd be like Underworld if you had Underworld going on, and then they threw like, uh, like the it's like uh, the Invisible Man or the Mummy or something. <laughs> it's like there's this war going on, but also the Mummy's here. Like <laughs> that, that's that's a really great description. <laughs> he's also here. He could have been a gargoyle, but instead yeah. he's a Frankenstein monster, or or just like a human who gets caught up in like the war or something. Yep. But nope, he happened to be a Frankenstein monster who is is just six foot one. Like, Aaron Eckert is not a giant, giant man. He is no. just looks like a tall-ish guy. But like, what? Frankenstein's supposed to be like seven foot, right? Or no? I, 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 think it's, I think it depends on like what what version it is. Yeah, what version? He's he's not he's not the green tall guy in the book. He's just a lot of tall parts put together, but like he's made up of so many parts that he probably the same legs wouldn't be the same. Was this like the like like the doubt like downward spiral for Aaron Ecker? Because he's he's like I feel like he's only been like schlock recently. Like, he's been like schlock action movies. I think it he, is. I think they bet so much on him because because he, 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 he's in Dark Knight in two thousand eight, and then it was like Battle of Los Angeles. And then Olympus, Olympus Has Fallen was the year right before this. And then you had this, and then you had London Has Fallen. And then you had, like, it was, like, Incarnate, and then, like, uh, Ambush, Muzzle, well, Rumble well, Through the Dark. Like, you forgot to mention, it all went downhill after uh, uh, Aaron Brockovich? Was he an Aaron Brockovich? I don't think so. No. Oh, yeah, he was, yeah. Yeah, see? <laughs> But, but I mean, but then, but then he, I mean, that was like the. I feel like that he was on the rise after that because then he was like the rise. Yeah, he was like he was like you know like he was like a like coast like he was in like paycheck and the core like he was in like big movies. Thank you for smoking. Oh, he was in Sully. Yeah, I like, oh, yeah, po- post this. That was like like that was like his last kind of like. I feel like big, critic like, actual movie. <laughs> and then like he's he's yeah, been yeah. like really like. Uh, I mean, he was in paycheck. I mean, if it's like Aaron Eckhart led, yeah. Yeah, any, anything recent he's been in has been like it's like like Bruce Willis, like sh- like kind of like action schlock. Like, so when we go back here, she's very sympathetic to like uh, this resurrection project. You know, like the mm-hmm. 
she's already kind of shown that she doesn't care about life. It is like a dead thing coming back to life. Was um was Chuck still in the air when this movie came out? Or I think it was like was it, I think it's been, no, it's been like it's been, I think it's been like like one or two years after Chuck. Yeah, yeah, it's over by then. Chuck landed in like twenty twelve. Yeah, twenty twelve. Yeah. That's that's another oh, weird yeah. like that's another weird thing but like like Bill Nighy is the bad guy of this and Underworld. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It's like this is an Underworld movie. This would have been like the same Underworld guy. He's like, oh, this is how I come back. To my <laughs> like, they're like when when does Kevin Feige and there's Kevin Gavro <laughs> with like a fake Agent Smith. I like a Prince Nibarius also is in charge of like a tech company, a tech medical company. <laughs> yeah. This is just their weekend sex thing. <laughs> it's like we're all into gargoyle BDSM So in this universe, they don't suspect Frankenstein stories because they don't exist, or they do, but not in book form. He, I, I guess, cause, I guess, because like it, like it, 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 it thinks this is like a novel. Like it's just like they, the, like the gargoyles hid the journal. Like so, like there's like this vague idea that like Frankenstein existed and like made it, but like it resurrected something. But they wouldn't have the detail of the monster, or they do? Like, that whole, whole thing is now, like, infamous enough. Like, that happened in their universe. The whole Frankenstein monster, and it just, like, carried over into a story people tell people, but they missed yeah. a whole bunch of facts about that. Well, because well, cause Bill Nighy was the, uh, that weird demon-headed, like, the one that we saw, like, the demon head appear on in, like... yeah. Each times, so he actually saw like freaking size monster. Oh, okay. So he's like, okay, but so they're, they're trying to like recreate the process, but like he's like, if they get if he gets actually gets Frankenstein or Adam or whatever, then he can like they can like you know jumpstart their like whatever pl evil scheme he has. Okay, that kind of makes sense. I give him credit for that. Like, it, it's a very clever enough of a plot to make it feasible for what what you know this going on it's also it's kind of similar to like van helsing where like they need like frankenstein's monster to like jumpstart their like scheme like yeah, the yeah. power of frankenstein like you figure they would try something a little different but no seriously the same plot from <laughs> van helsing
I it, in, in the 200 years that he's been around, he's only accidentally killed two people? Or like one person. Like he, This is the first time he killed someone, I think. Or he, he didn't kill them. Like they just like in the in the like it's silly the chaos. Like he got killed. Yeah. yeah. But in the two hundred years he's been fighting them, this is the one incident, or is this, this is like last strike? That's that's, I, that's like a pretty good record. If you like, yeah, never really had a record, like two hundred years of fighting. So if this happened, like, man, zero, zero it, tolerance for the gargoyles. Yeah, like. Super zero tolerance. But it's, like, he, um, if you were to tell me this was, like, the next week after the first part of the movie, you know, it's, that makes sense. This is, like, 200 years later, and they finally catch up and do all this. Yeah. This dumb war between demons and, like, these eight gargoyles. <laughs> I also realized Bill Nighy was also featured as the main villain in uh, Pokemon Detective Pikachu. <laughs> it's the same idea, too, where he wants something from some sort of project. Yep. From something he shouldn't have in the first place. Mm -hmm. Same plot. Well, not exactly. There's no Detective Pikachu in this one. See, those are the proper gargoyles that we're thinking are actual gargoyles from, like, the TV show Gargoyles. Yeah. Not Jai Courtney Gargoyle. See? Wouldn't you want, like, a Gargoyles movie that's, like, the Gargoyles? Disney's Gargoyles, and it's, like... But, they also, but then it's just, like... They don't, have, they don't have any of the rules of, like, you know, they can't be out in the sunlight, or... They turn to yeah. stone in, in daylight, like... They just roam wherever they want to go. No, yeah, the only, the only rule is that if they get killed by, like, a soulless creature, they get ascended. But these have souls, right? No, demons or don't no? have souls. That's, that's if they get killed by a demon, then it's like they go to they get ascended to heaven, I guess, or something. But if they get killed by something else, where do they go then? I, I don't know. How come the ugly guys are fighting them and then, like, the rest of the <laughs> It's like, it's like, just... it's the entire city of France, or, like, Paris, like, demons. <laughs> also, like, no one, no one in Paris cares, they're like... Why are there like this crazy light lights going on? And... and then where are all these normal hum like looking humans are uh, running the streets like this, like a mass flash mob? This is something you'd see at the end of a movie, right? <laughs> yes, this feels like the big climax. Somebody throws a shitload at you about, like, epicness and then these characters, Last Stand, that, like, we just met. <laughs> Wait, why do all the Gargos have different weapon styles? It's like, they're very crazy weapons you would see at, like, a gun show. <laughs> like, all the <their> weapons <laughs> are, like, very practical. Like he has just claw daggers. He has a battle axe. Yeah, couldn't, yeah, couldn't, couldn't they carve the symbol on bullets and have like machine guns? 
Yeah, that's just like it doesn't have to be this way. Like it would be this makes sense if they use these holy relic weapons at the time, like medieval weapons in medieval times. Yeah. This is modern yeah, like, day. Yeah, given, given modern times, like the one angel, one gargoyle has got the gun weapon. That's like, no, that's my weapon. No one else can yeah. ever use it. Or even even like a crossbow or something. Like like you just car carve the symbol. Was, they said all you have to do is carve the symbol on weapons, and it makes them like, you know, like the holy yeah. weapons. Yeah. God, this is this is such CG sludge, dude. <laughs> like, this yep. is, there's so much like shitty CGI going on. No, throw more, more CG, more CG. Look at the sky. Is that Jack Courtney? So again, like, like no, no police, no, no one's even like noticing this. Like, f pillars of flame and pillars of light are like going off all over Notre Dame. That's a pretty smart plan. Mm -hmm. Like, this would have been, again, a, a, like, climax to another movie. Yeah, everything about this feels like it should be, like, the final, like, sequence of, like, oh, they've captured, like, you know, it's the final battle, he has to get to, like, the enemy headquarters rescued like the gargoyle queen it's like this is like we're, we're like 30 minutes in this movie <laughs> like yeah I'm confused about ascending. So, like, they go to like super heaven. I think so. According to Wikipedia, they get they are they are, they're sent to heaven. They're trapped there. So they're like, I mean, they're in heaven, but they can't come back. Gotcha. 
because they were created by angels. That's where they go, and then demons get sent to hell, and they never come back. We're like some kind of suicide squad. <laughs> I was saying, like, so he goes on a low mission suicide mission? I mean, he teams up with Frankenstein, so it kind of gets you that whole, oh, this becomes like a buddy angel movie, a buddy gargoyle movie. Where, where are my holy boomerangs? Oof, the CGI did not age well again. The, <laughs> it's only the this is 10 years ago. This. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, so apparently the budget for this movie was like $65 million. <laughs> You see it. They really put a lot in set design and props. He's going to make his own Frankensteins. Because he's either that or he's going to sell it for money. I. <laughs> <laughs> I do like in the 200 years, he's been sticking with these Kali sticks. Like, <laughs> yeah. No other weapon, no gun, no, no just <laughs> sticks. Stick. He yeah. picked up the one weapon and loved it forever. He's, he's just been like, like they showed it like he's been like Rocky Foring and like the like winter mountains, just like training with like his sticks. I guess they're the super most effective kill weapon because he's getting more kills off of that, those sticks than the gargoyles did. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I like how, like, he's trying to be stealthy, but every time he kills a demon, it's like this giant burst of flames starts showing up, so it's like... <laughs> you can't be quiet about that. Yeah. So, the demons want the book so they can make 
more demons to bring back the ones that got descended and probably locked out, right? They're gonna they're gonna resurrect, like use the te- like the resurrection technology, to, like resurrect human bodies, but then put demons in them, I guess. Yeah, but then the demon minds from like the one from the layer of hell that they can't escape from. Yeah. Look, that's the Matrix. Yeah, I'm like this is the Matrix battery arrangement. Because these are going to be human vessels for the demons to be in. Yeah. But then demons come here already as, like, a human form. Yeah, You're not going to blend in with society when you all look like Frankenstein monsters. <laughs> what's what's stopping the gargoyles or the demons from, like, coming back anyway? Like That's what I'm saying. Like, the, the main cause... part of the demons is that they want to get resurrected as human demons. Yeah. Well, because it's, it's, they're not getting killed. They're getting, like, sent back to heaven or hell. But the timeout zone is making them <laughs> yeah, not come back. It's sort of, yeah. Now, yeah, but what, now with the resurrection thing, they can get out of the timeout zone. It's like... So it's, like, infinite. They can just keep doing this forever. Mm-hmm. Wow, I didn't know how religious t- undertones it will be in in like a Frankenstein <laughs> book about gargoyles and demons fighting each other. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. I got the sh- quick shot was like this guy putting together like petri sample things and her just pouring herself <laughs> coffee. <laughs> yep. It's such a like science and leisure. That's me. That's me. My that's me book. It's a very weird, cute meat. Yeah. Um, that like he straight up had a murderous look and then she's sort of like into it she's like oh hey ooh. I think he wants this like
<laughs> See, she says hello like a nervous like, oh. Yeah. I'm, hey, uh, what's up? Yeah, like, I met you like at a nervous like meet cute like, uh, like coffee shop or something. So does that mean, like, Frankenstein's monster is a demon? Because he's a soulless thing, or...? I guess, I guess yeah. <laughs> so I get the struggle now. <laughs> like, like, but what... But I was gonna do, like, a... Like a what was it? Was it like, that Kill Bill move, like... <laughs> yeah, like, poke his heart? Yeah. Five-finger five, pick, five palm strike? Yeah. So what's what's with this, this like this like seventies era subway card? It's like plaid seats. French. The <laughs> they, have French updated, system? They, they have updated their subway system. You figure they'll have like very elegant subway like architecture and like interior design because it's France and it's a very popular district. It's Paris, so your tourism would be like beautiful in that central system. But yeah, they they drive like a shit tunnel. Like, that probably is like the original 70s carpeting. Also, is she the only human in this, like, company? I think the other scientist is a human guy, too. Demons only. I know. It's like, you didn't tell your, I mean, your headquarters is also your research lab to, to find this. It's just like, your employer's going to question this. It is so good that this, like, biologist is so hot. <laughs> like, <she laughs> like a model. Like, she went from, like, science girl leaving you with her hair up to, like, pulling it out and doing a runway walk. <laughs> She's still more believable as a scientist than uh, Denise Richards. <laughs> yeah. That's because she did, like, more than one scene of science in this. Denise Richards looked at, like, rocks and was just like, well, I'm a scientist. Well, she, she, like, Yvonne's shot, she, she looks like she's going to be, like, 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 she's going, like, an Indiana Jones, like, like she's, like, an archaeologist now or something. Yeah. She has a satchel already, like, like, the jacket, the, like, hiking boot. He really stole that move from Batman. I'm Frankenstein. <laughs> Where is she? Where is she? <laughs> Where's <is> Rachel? <laughs> you know, Aaron Ecker could have been a Bruce Wayne. He he does look good as a Bruce Wayne. Mm-hmm. 
it almost I mean, has like a I mean, growly voice for it. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's definitely tra- he's definitely copying like Christian Bale a little bit of like, I I work Christian Bale. That's like a superhero voice, right? <laughs> like, yeah, deep growl. Yeah. It's a lot to take in. But won't they all go crazy and be like him, where like, and be super strong and? Well, because because yeah, Adam's not in it. It's not like he's like inhabited by demons. So like, yeah, like I feel like all like all, the whole army would be like just like whatever brain is in them. <laughs> like, yeah, I I'm assuming he like he uh was what he was before, right? Some mm. dude, and now he kind of got brainwashed. As long as it's the same brain? But unless Frankenstein's brain is made out of, like, nine different brains? Oh, cool, that he has Cali stick training, too. Yeah. It would be funny if, like, uh, the demons also have, like, an anti-gargoyle symbol on it, too. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think they're they're using like the like classic like uh, like demonic like star symbol. Um, they're like painting that on people's face, the the corpses' heads. Okay, so maybe this is a classic symbol, and that like if you get killed by that symbol, then it counts. Because if you can't kill, if like gar- demons aren't weak, if you don't kill them with the symbol thing. I do, but the, the visuals Cali sticks is looks cool. Yeah. It's just when you look up and see the demon's head, it just takes it out of place. <laughs> so Aaron Eckhart did train pretty well for the Cali sticks. He said he mm-hmm. spent like a good year like doing it. So, have they done this before? Have I think it's all just like a theory. Yes, is this a theory? The thing is, yeah, it's just a theory. But it's like, have they possessed an undead body that came back from the dead before? Like, you know, have they possessed a resurrected, unsoulless body? It's a big if. Yeah, because there's like never been a soulless body before. <laughs> Yeah, it's like alive. The first of that? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, has that worked? Is that a thing? Or is that just like an insane theory that they like think could be true?
actually, if they burn the journal, that should be better, because then now the demons can't figure out anything, you know? Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep Adam's not going to bring something back from the dead, is he? It's like, Sick damn, abs. this rips. <laughs> Sick abs, Frankenstein monster. I spent I spent 200 years doing crunches in the, in the mountains. She's like into scars like this. She just believes in Gargoyle Queen, so she's like, yeah, okay, the <laughs> Gargoyle Queen. Whatever you say, monster. I mean, it's a pretty high stakes for her, and because like the gargoyles are the only defense that stop the demons, and I feel like that's really one sided. Mm -hmm. No one's ever said that to me. <laughs> I never thought of it like that before. That's a good boy. Yeah, it's like blowing his mind. <laughs> yeah. I do like they also kind of take like a Captain America approach where he like spends time with this girl that like he's never talked to like a human woman or something like a mm -hmm. steve rogers like trying to talk to agent carter except they skip the whole wire ripped and like combat ready instead of a super serum it's some sort of life formula Were they digging their way into hell? <laughs> What's up with that tunnel? Okay. I think it was just a random hole. Okay. Like, is that, oh, they, that's their secret tunnel to hell for their backup plan. If they can't summon demons into humans, they'll just go and give them a ride through like a hell tunnel. <laughs>
You want to be the bride? <laughs> the universe is expanding. <laughs> I don't know another mummy. I mean, I know I don't know another Frankenstein monster, but I do know a mummy. And it's the mummy from like the fucking <laughs> the dead and a wolf mummy. Man. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. But you have to team up with some little girl who wants to banish Dracula back to hell <laughs> to call themselves the Monster Squad. She got to take it. She take it. I know. <laughs> she knows she needs protection. Like she's in danger. Legit. You work for demons that came after you. What the hell is this building? It has like water running down the side of it. Like, I was wondering if that was a French like museum that they met in. To, they don't, no it, ordinary it, business it, has a water feature like that. Is it is it Central Station? So is that like a like like the subway station or something? Or like <laughs> that's a really nice subway station. I do like how they live among humans, yet they really choose their gargoyle like je like jewelry and furniture, like really keeping it traditional. Mm -hmm. It, it should have just been destroyed. Where, where do you want to go? Out of France? <laughs> also, good thing that both these corporations are still in France. Like, the Gargoyle headquarters and then the Demon, like, laboratory. Mm -hmm. And they live, they live in secret in Notre Dame, I guess. And then, uh... The Demon Company has that, like, pod city, like, underneath. They could have moved to different countries. Also, the way that this queen now talks about uh, Aaron Eckhart, I mean, you know, Adam now, it's like a jealous ex. <laughs> like, okay, after you complete, kill, kill him. Like, you're definitely trying to clean up this whole thing. Cause she's the one who named him and all that, and then he rejects her. 
I'm not gonna be in your war. Yeah. <laughs> but you need to get involved because, like, the the demon side is probably the worst side. Mm-hmm. And I wonder if they recruited other monsters in this war. <laughs> in the alternate universe, where this is like in the underworld really universe, they tried to, <laughs> yeah. tried, to, tried to make an alliance with like the vampires. <laughs> They're trying to make an alliance with, like, the Mummy Queen or King. They approach, um, the Black Lagoon monster. Well, it would be like American Gods. Essentially the same concept, but them trying to recruit different factions. Oh shit, he's ascending. <laughs> Go to heaven. Well, that backfired. Yep, horribly. Now that like their strongest is dead. So does that mean it's he has to fight both sides now? <laughs> yeah. They both want to kill him now. Well, I his eye work is amazing in this. <laughs> mm-hmm. When he's doing like the the brow frown, and he does that before he did that before, but now he he did it here just perfectly. Just mm, that's my response is the eye twitch. Wait, what? He, yeah, he killed like the other, like the other scientist guy, and he, not, not just like bring him back to life. Right? Yeah, but like, she can also be bluffing, where it's like, actually, we need it both of ours, it's, like, yeah, understanding. It can't just be me alone, because it's like, is he just her alone that knows the whole formula, or it's like her and him? I think they both read the journal, so like he also knew like most of like the process or something. Because they, they were talking earlier about like they were talking earlier about like how many like you know like jewels you needed to like yeah electrify and yeah. yeah. But 
the thing is, like, they've had that journal for like an hour in their hand. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. She had the whole night to read it. So it's like, she, and that's one time reading it. That's kind of important. Like, did she take notes? How does she, like, she memorized it? <laughs> the missing formula was the jewels? cool that these reanimating things have like a percentage counter like a battery <laughs> yep. charge you, you, yeah you know how much reanimation you have left I don't know if you guys found him. Like he like sh- like showed himself yeah. to you. He showed him to like the guard who just like had to go down there and look at him and then come back. He could have just, they could have just ran at him and started fighting. I don't know. They're doing this dramatic thing that's obviously like a trap. What, she want to see this cool action? <laughs> like, yeah. I want to see if, like, what happens after this, like, j- joust. Interesting camera work. We got to see the perspective of the gargoyle. <laughs> like, in, while being punched. This is a Matrix fight. Like, they, they <laughs> yeah. saw the Asian Smith idea. <laughs> Take that author of the series. Yeah. I can't tell if this is like intentional or unintentional to get well, like Adam, from the gargoyles. Yeah, Adam, like he, he like led them to like the spot where like the, like like the weird like demon experiments are going on. But he could have told them, but he didn't. Well, 
Well, he, he, he said he said he was going to tell them if it, when he got back with like uh, Yvonne Strahovski, but they're like, "Oh no, kill him instead!" Like, yeah, that sounds like it's a weird strategy and plan that they're doing. Because now they really sound like the bad guys still. He's come back twice. I like how he's like a foot taller now. Yep. <laughs> Just keep it for him. Wait, gathering bodies for centuries? Like some of them are probably like skeletons at this point, right? Yeah, they decay. So the guy's summoning demon chant to bring souls to be like fitted. The demons, yeah, the demons they got like sent back to hell are coming back now. Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, I feel like a lot of them are possessed already. Yeah, this guy's doing one by one. This guy's <laughs> yeah. the whole row. Yeah. One hundred percent reanimated, <laughs> fully charged. Man, they really make science to be like horrific in this, where they mechanicalize like a mass production soul like collecting system
Uh, tic tac toe. <laughs> It seems like a pretty like big vulnerability to demons. If like if you kill Bill Nighy, like the entire fucking like facility blows business, up. Yeah, the whole headquarters, and then I guess the like endless pit they dug. Yeah, like a skyscraper in the underground. <laughs> the portal to hell. Just her. Okay. So they forgive Frankenstein. Yeah. We're cool, right? To be Gideon's replacement? <laughs> I'm counting to you. You're my new bride. <laughs> yeah. This is the name of the movie. <laughs> Does he call guess... himself I Frankenstein? Like he he is Frankenstein. He's, he's, Monster he's, never he's, called himself Frankenstein. Yeah, he's he's Adam Frankenstein. But in the way that's like he he thinks of himself like I Frankenstein, like me, like a Frankenstein, like like. As a last name or as the monster? You know what I mean? Like, in this yeah. world, Frankenstein, people don't know what to call the creature because it's like, we call it Frankenstein or Frankenstein's monster, you know? Like, so he's just like, I'm a Frankenstein. Like, oh, you mean like the family? It's like me, I, Goldberg, you know? It's like that. <laughs> It's a lot of concept. And I didn't know it was about, like, the existence of God and, like, control, <laughs> like, and, and Heaven's Gating and, like, Hellgate. Like, it's a lot taken for, like, one introduction movie. But I don't think, that, like, do they want this to be franchisable? I, I'm, sh I'm sure they were, like, 
like if it if it had done well, it probably would have been like there probably would have been sequels, but it was a huge bomb. This is a high concept, high budget bomb. Also, it seems kind of late for like a. I mean, this, this is like vaguely new metal ish. Like, this, 2014 seems like a little like late for new metal. This this would have been like a pop hit in like the 2008 era of new metal, or maybe even like 2007. I feel like new metal was like early 2000s. Yeah, yeah, and it's like the end. This is the end of new metal. <laughs> maybe. Because, like, all the time you ever hear it is Underworld, so this is sort of related that only new metal goes well with these creature, sexy creature features. In my head, I thought, like, the scientists and Frankenstein hook up. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was a scene where they, yeah, they, they like, do it. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Like maybe like in that, in that weird like dingy bedroom. Ooh. The French the French crack den. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, this movie was lacking the soundtrack and it's just all here at the end. They're lacking the like lyrical soundtrack. This would have been a montage, the song. <laughs> mm-hmm. God, the the first two acts drag on with how much like it it just it becomes so time sinky to explain all the sub details of the war, what they want, what's been going on, and then like their first well, real encounter. Well, it, feel, it feels like they blow their wad with that. Like we're talking about like that like that like first action that first like big set piece feels like the like the final set piece. Yeah, and it's like and then like after that it's just like. Well, they had their like their biggest, like most massive set piece already. Like, where can they go from here? <laughs> like, it is a little exhausting because you're just so like drained from getting excited and then being like suspenseful. Suspend, yeah. You know, like you're like anticipating, and then all these other characters they sort of introduce in the beginning are dying. And you're like, oh man, like we're gonna miss that guy. And they're like, nope, that was only the first half an hour. There's still like a crap load of movie left. Because at that point, they didn't even, like, were they already revealing that they had the, uh, uh, like, bodies? The, like, the huge city cave of, of reanimated corpse ready to go? Well, apparently, apparently they've been collecting them for centuries, so. And I guess they were all there? <laughs> <laughs> In the hopes that they can get the the recipe to do this, and then I mean, they really nightly reveal like, oh, I've got I got places like this everywhere. Yeah, how are they how are they preserving bodies for like centuries? Because like they're Caves? all is that the mystery? Yeah. <laughs> Cave weather. Yeah, because you're right. Like it would just be like a giant locker full like cryo freezing parts or something. Like we haven't perfected that yet. Maybe they're all like a bunch of like Star Wars vats and Bonka vats. But so I give movie hats off for like a crazy premise. It, <laughs> it starts like with with like a beginning that the original Frankenstein like, Mary Shelley's story begins, so I didn't realize they really kept that accuracy. Yeah. And then, going to explaining, oh no, these are not angels. Like, don't confuse the two, but they kind of are <laughs> angels, but they're not angels. They, 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 they beat they're created by angels. They're, cr- they're created by angels. But, 
the demons seem like they, you know, moved on with the world. They have jobs, like they keep <laughs> schedules. But the gargoyles yeah. never moved on past the Notre Dame like office. That's why I think it's kind of hilarious that the demons became more like business savvy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the gargoyles are like are like thinking it's still like like the 1700s or whatever. <laughs> like, and meanwhile, the, the demons are wearing slick suits and hiring like a diverse staff, like. I, I, I just had, like, we had that question where, like, are the only humans the scientists and the rest are just all demons? Well, it's it's so it's so bizarre that, like, you know, this war has been going on for centuries, but ev- everyone dies in, like, insane, like, like these, like, giant pyrotechnics displays. Like, no, no one's noticed this war for <laughs> the centuries it's been going on. Like, no humans have ever mentioned, like, oh, why are there, like, fireballs going off? Like... Oh, occasionally place, in like... France, and occasionally in France, uh, you'll just see red and blue lights. Don't yeah, worry about like, that. That just you'll happens. See, you'll see either like a, a pyrotechnic, like a explosion of fire go off, or a beam of light go off, like into it's, the sky. It's, it's, yeah, it's not like this war every once in a while. You know, it's like the Northern Lights is like once every how many years you can see a clear Northern Lights. Mm-hmm. This is that all the goddamn time they fight, like how it flies in the air and hovers there for a long time to ascend or descend. So and, and there's, there's gargoyles flying around Notre Dame and like yeah, <laughs> someone's some cameras like okay, there's four gargoyles here, and then like in the next hour, there's only one. Like you know, a, as a statue camera, a static thing mm-hmm. that they probably have. It does. You do. You do have to have that suspend belief, or else you you just spot so many goddamn flaws that. Underworld just did perfectly where they explain, like, you know, they don't have anything too obvious. When you die, you turn to dust. Like, it's very quick and fast. This is, like, yeah. very elaborate. Yeah, Under- yeah, yeah Underworld is, mo- is way more, like, like straightforward. Like, yeah, it's vampires, werewolves. Secret societies. Killing- yeah, tr- 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 traditional ways of killing each other. There's no there's no crazy, like, pyrotechnic display when they die. Like, Plus, they do modern weaponry. Y- yeah, that... De- definitely, they definitely like are lacking. Like, some someone should have figured out. Like, one of the sites should have figured out. Like, oh, we can just have like like machine guns or whatever. <laughs> like, I hate to say it, I think Vel Helsing's a better version of this story than than like than this Frankenstein I, original movie. I I would rather watch Van Helsing than this, probably. Yeah, it's easier to understand, and it's it's sort of like makes it's got, sense it's got Hugh what... Jackman instead of Aaron yeah. Like Well, Hugh, I mean, Aaron is not. It's just it's, he's, no. it's not for him. Like he's a good actor, but just not in this role. He's, I mean, he's he's, he's starting to do like, yeah, he's trying to do like a Christian Bale like Batman impression. Like, Once he said that, it clicked. I was like, that's exactly what he's doing. Yeah, <laughs> special, special thanks to Mary Shelley <laughs> for that thing she found. <laughs> Could, couldn't tell without you. Thanks for laying like eighty percent of the groundwork. I'm sure. I'm sure Mary Shelley would have been 100 <laughs> percent on board with this. Like, Can you imagine if this was like the next year for a book? So I was like, I want to make him an action hero now. She's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> She's just like, I read about this thing called uh, like like uh, Kali fighting sticks. Like, <laughs> like yeah. Do you remember that chapter in uh, Frankenstein where he just Kali sticked everybody? <laughs> yeah, and is <laughs> Sarah talking about demons, and gargoyles? <laughs> but uh yes yeah, so that that was i frankenstein hopefully and in, uh <laughs> if you remember that movie when it came out i i saw it when it came out so unfortunate I rem- yeah i remember it i uh, i watched it once on passing on tv and then it like never is on tv this is a movie you have to seek out yeah <laughs> Somehow, somehow, Max is the play, like decided to, like get the rights to, to uh, Hi Frankenstein. Do they, do they have the Underworld movies too? Like, is that is that like part of the thing? Of, like, Max has like the rights to like they've got whatever studio put out. Like, they have like Lionsgate, like or like whoever put out Underworld. Well, I love the fact that it's like whoever the distributor for that, the time streaming. It's like okay, you want all the Underworld, you also get I Frankenstein free. It's, like, <laughs> it's a bundle deal. Yeah. You have to take it. But 
Man, yeah, Underworld is like is, Underworld is like scattered across like every like streaming surface. <laughs> like, there's no there's, there's there's like no there's like no one like source for like Underworld. It's like the you like got a marathon two, it right. Two, two two is on Netflix. You have to you have to rent all the rest of them. <laughs> Damn. Like or like, Blood Wars is on Stars. Like yeah, it jumps all over the place. Uh, so uh, if they ever do a sequel, is it worth? Like being hyped for it, like I, you know, like I just don't know where the story goes from here. Some some new some new demon, or like they like introduce another faction or something. There's like, oh, you thought the demons were bad? Here's like, here's the Probably. mummies. Or here's <laughs> the, the, the invisible men are here. Like, yeah, I can see that. And they're just like, yeah, let's not do more. We don't the know zombies. Now. Like, zombies are reanimated corpses again. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, happy happy 10th anniversary, I Frankenstein. Um, <laughs> you crazy movie, you. You, you. you crazy ass movie that like bombed horribly and sort sort of could have been an underworld like side cool, but wasn't. <laughs> but yeah, so I think they'll they'll do it for this uh, month's commentary. We'll be back next month with our commentary. Uh, head over to the site for all of our usual uh, we got reviews, news, trailers, uh, the regular podcast, uh, all, 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 all of our usual stuff is over at everydayshow.com. And uh, yes, yeah, so of course, I'm Zach, and we will see you next time. For more Everything Action, head to www.everythingaction.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, at EVAction, on Facebook by searching for Everything Action, and follow us on Instagram at everything.action. You can also subscribe and get more episodes on Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify.